Hi, I'm Muhammad. I wanted to speak about how wonderful it is to be able to be open and authentic about who you really are. How doing that enables others to be open as well, how it inspires others. I've always been a very open and loud person and when I left Islam I was similarly open about my disbelief and on the reasons for my disbelief and as a result I met a lot of other ex-Muslims and wound up starting ex-Muslims in North America. Um, I met Sarah Heather who had never met an ex-Muslim before and while on a own it was a chance insignificant small encounter. Um, small moments like that are what build up to greater change. A similar moment was related to my friend Gada who's a Saudi woman she was brave enough to speak at one of our public campus events. Her video went viral in Saudi Arabia. There were a lot of angry Muslims that were sharing the video. Um, but who else? what else happened as a result? A lot of people came into contact with those ideas. I just met a Saudi woman today who had left the faith as a result of getting those angry messages, watching Gada's videos, and relating with them. Uh, I, one of my other friends, um, who's an activist, came out to his family. Obviously, there was some anger and a hurt among, with his parents. But when the dust settled, all of his siblings had left the faith as well. Change is hard, and particularly for things that really matter, it's very hard. But if you look at the world today, um, all the things we take for granted, women's rights, equality, there are people that stood up for those. If women hadn't stood up for suffrage, if gay people hadn't stood up for their rights, what sort of world would we live in today? I think we owe it to those that are going to come tomorrow, those that are in worse situations, to stand up for them. And not just for them, for Muslims as well. Uh, Muslims tend to be the biggest victims of Islam. Um, living in religious countries, human progress is horrifyingly stalted. Um, the same for the consequences of uh, religion and state being intertwined. I would say that I'm awesome without Allah because I can fight for change for a better world here and now without being tied to 7th century dogma.